Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to use Power Windows in DaVinci Resolve 17. Power Windows are shapes that allow us to isolate different parts of the clip in order to perform specific corrections. And today I will show you several ways we can use Power Windows. I hope you will like it. Let's start! Alright guys, I am in the color tab and here I've got four different stock clips. So let's start from some basic information about the power windows. Let's click on the power windows tab. And here we can choose from different shapes. First we've got a linear or rectangular power window. And we can move it around or rotate it. We can also use these red handles to soften it. Or we can use the controllers over here to do the same thing. We can also increase the size of it, pan it, change the aspect, rotate it, or tilt it. And we can change the opacity. So let's add some colors with the color wheels so I can show you how it works. So we can go up and down with the opacity. Next we have a circle that works the same way as the rectangle. Then we've got a polygon and here we can customize the shape by adding some additional points like this. Then we've got a custom curve so we can draw more precise shapes with this tool, like this. And lastly, we have the gradient tool. So let's place it here and let's add some color. So we can stretch this arrow if we want to affect a bigger portion of the clip, like this. And we can also rotate it. Okay, let's undo everything. And now we can also add more power windows if we need by clicking on them here. So let's add one circle and let's say that I want two circles. So I can add another one like this and I can move them around. And now let's add a color again. And when we click on the icon here, we can invert the selection which means that we will be affecting the outside of the power window, not the inside, like this. And there's also a subtract button, so when we click on it, we can subtract our masks. So we can create some fun color shapes if we want to. Okay, so this is the basics of the power windows. And now I'll show you how to use them on the specific examples. We will be changing the eye color here. So I'll grab my custom curve and I'll draw a mask around the iris. I will adjust it. And now to be able to see our selection better, we will have to turn on the highlight here. So now everything outside the mask is grayed out and it helps to see better the selection. And now let's say that I want to change only that grayish green color and I don't want to change the brown part of the iris. So I'll go to the color selector and I'll select the color I want to change. Okay. And let's also denoise the selection and clean white a bit. And now I'll turn off my highlight and I will change the color of the iris with my gamma wheel. Something like this looks nice to me. This is before and after. And we can see here the hard edges of the mask. So let's go back to the power window and let's soften it. Inside and outside. Okay, looks much better. And now when we play this clip, we can see that it's moving a bit. So we'll have to track our mask as well. Let's go to the tracker then and let's simply track it forwards and backwards. And the first job is done. So let's move to the next clip. This is how it looks. 
And here, let's say that I want to make the whole shot brighter. So I'll go to my curves and I'll increase the brightness in the highlights and, and decrease a bit in the shadows to add more contrast. Okay, this is before and after. And now, I like how the mountains look, but also it's very noticeable that we lost a lot of information in the sky and the clouds doesn't look as good as they could. So we'll hit option S to create a new node. We'll go to the power windows and we'll grab our gradient. We'll place it over the sky. And let's turn the highlight on to be able to see the selection. Let's stretch it. Okay, this will work. And I will go back to my curves and I will bring down the highlights. Now the sky looks much better. This is before and after. So this way you can correct a bit some overexposed clips as well. Now let's move to the next clip. This is how it looks. And here we can see someone sunbathing. So I want to add more lighting to the shot. It's quite dark at the moment. I want it to look more sunny. So I'll grab my gradient again and I will place it in the top left corner as the sun goes from here. Then I will turn on the highlight and improve the selection. Okay. And now I will also increase the brightness in the highlights with my curves. And let's improve the selection. Okay, so this is before and after. The clip looks better already, but I will add even more lighting on her face. So I'll add another serial node and I'll grab round power window this time. I will place it nicely over her face and I will soften it. Okay. And I will turn my highlight on. And now I don't want to brighten the whole selection. I want to brighten only the brightest parts of the skin. So again, I will grab my selector tool. I will select the skin. I will clean the selection using the noise. Clean white, clean black and blur. And I think that the result may be too intense. So I'll go to my key and I'll decrease the opacity of the selection by reducing gain in the key output. Something like this will work. And now let's increase the gamma here. Okay, and this is before and after. I hope you like it. And now we can move to the last clip where I'll be showing you how to create an alpha masks with power windows. And to do this, we'll have to go back to the editing tab where I have all of my clips on the timeline and by clicking command C and command V I will copy and paste the first eye clip and place it above the last clip and let's go back to the color tab. Now let's go to the power windows and let's grab a round power window. Let's place it over the eye, something like this. Let's soften it and we will be connecting these blue dots together to make our alpha mask visible and you may not have this alpha output here so to get it you just have to right click and choose add alpha output okay so let's connect the input and the output and this is what we got this is before and after and again we can adjust our mask however we want to I will also decrease the saturation of the eye so it blends a bit better with the sky clip and again, I will go to the key tab and I will decrease the opacity of the eye, something like this. And let's play it. All right, so this is basically another way you can use power windows. You can overlay clips on top of each other and you can get some crazy arty results. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. See you soon.